Hey, what's up, YouTube? Silver Kishimaku here with episode one of our Pokemon Nuzlocke for Pokemon Platinum version. Um, so if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, I will have the link in the description below for to find out what it is. Um, pretty much nicknaming all my pokemon um another thing is the first pokemon in every area that i find in the grass i must catch and none else so if i walk in the grass and there's a beedoof there that's all i can catch in that area if it's a shiny, I think, I can catch that. Um, that also goes for, like, doubles and such, but, um, yeah. Um, any Pokemon that faints is considered pretty much dead. I got to release it or put it in the PC permanently. And, yeah, so, um... With that being said, yeah, Pokemon Platinum, guys. It has been a long time since I played this game. Holy crap, a long time. Um, yeah. However, everyone calls me the perf Pokemon Professor. It's Professor Ron. Before I go any further at this is is this your first adventure if you need advice i am certainly capable of giving it mm, no no i don't the world is widely inhabited by creatures known as pokemon here i have a pokeball touch the button on the middle of the pokeball if you please it's a baneri And just so you guys know, this is my very first ever Nuzlocke, so, um, I probably won't be applying any hard rules that, like, are weird or so. I'm not gonna add anything crazy on. I'm just doing a Nuzlocke. So, pretty much all the rules I explained at the beginning or in the link down in the description, description below, um, that'll pretty much be all I'm following is the main rules. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this too, because, uh, I kind of liked platinum version. It was pretty good game. Yes, I am a boy. Sorry to say, Professor Rowan, I am a boy. My name is, my name is, um, uh, uh, I, L, V, E, E, R. Bam. Yes. Yes, my name is Silver. Yep. I know. I think he's my friend, too. I try not to claim him. He's kind of weird. Uh, let's call him a new name. I don't know. Let's call him Gold. Okay, we're done. 
Yes. Yeah, that's his name. No, I'm not offering you gold. Greedy old man. Give me a Pokemon. Pokemon are by our side always. I hope you understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Owen on his return to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net, bro. See you next week, same time, same channel. Man, what the f bursting in my room, mother. Hey, Silver, did you see the TV? Sure, you did. Professor Run, that's really important guy who studied Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Man, get the f touching my crap, bruh. Get out. Get out. Find me. I'll find you 10 million for touching my shit, bruh. Yeah, I know. X button opens the menu. Whoa. Silver. Gold already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. I bet he was. He was touching my shit. Wild Pokemon might... Duh. I don't plan on it. But I think Gold's dumbass might be planning on it. Okay, that... Key item with that button. Ugh, bruh. What was that about? Hey, Silver. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Owen. You should come see too quickly. Oh, wait. Forgot my pants. What's he doing? Hurry up, bruh. I'd better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Silver, I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million fine if you're late. Man, I'm about to steal your shit. Uh, I'm touching your shit. I ain't even gonna lay on your bed. I think I know what you do there. You sick fudge. They call you Elmer Fudge. Let me out of here. What? Don't go into the tall grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Pokemon, trust me on this one. Wow. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out of the tall grass. So, what you do is scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we keep dashing, we can get to Sand Gem Town without even running into a wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. One, two, three. Hold it! Oh, shit. You're in trouble. This old guy, it's Professor Owen, isn't it? What is he doing here? They tried to go into tall grass. <laughs> what to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Especially the blonde one. He probably would have gotten his ass whooped. 
You two truly love Pokemon, don't you? Yes. Me too. I love Pokemon too. Bro, you were about to run into the grass. Yeah, your answer is about to change because he's about to tell you off. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got nothing to say now, do you, bro? Never recklessly endanger yourselves. We're about to go on a whole entire journey of reckless endangerment, my dude. You left your briefcase at the lab, Professor. Oh, is something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Done. Nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those idiots? They're fucking retarded. Are you kidding me? I bet you the blonde one was about to run into the grass. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Had to do that real quick. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokemon. There's a world that blah, 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 blah. Anyways, give me a Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna choose first. Oh. What's up with you? Open the briefcase. Oh, sorry. Man, I want Chimchar. Sorry to say, guys, Chimchar is one of my favorite Pokemon right next to Charizard. Um, I'm pretty sure when I very like first got this game, when it came out, I'm pretty sure that's the one I started with, which that kind of excites me here replaying this game, but as a Nuzlocke, so I really, really hope he doesn't faint, because if he does, well, obviously if he faints right now, the nothing, like, because I think all the rules don't apply pretty much until I get Pokeballs and can catch Pokemon. After that... Well, no, because I think it's after the first battle that if my Pokemon faint in the wild... It's over. But if I the catching rule doesn't happen until I get Pokeballs. So, yeah. Because that kind of defeats the purpose. So we will obviously go back to the areas. Because we want to do this right. Right? Right. Yeah, I'm up for this. Time has finally come. Silver, I challenge you to a reckless battle. Man, what the hell was that? Was he trying to dance? You do not know the way. Mm. 
I'm not even gonna let up on using scratch because I know if I do, I'm just gonna screw myself. So I'm just gonna keep using it. I know how this first battle works, so. I don't think I've ever, like, maybe when I was a kid and I first started playing Pokemon, I lost my very first couple battles, and then after that, it was pretty much, like, constant winning and winning the very first battle of the game. I think when I picked Pokemon back up and played this exact game, I was still pretty decent at it. Like... All I do is pretty much, because first battle, you just want to keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Uh, obviously, the moves I have are good, because if I want to, like he's doing now, he's lowering my attack, I could be lowering his defense. But you know what? That's not even going to, that's pointless. Especially if I can just keep attacking, attacking, attacking. Maybe I'll do some damage. I mean, obviously... Damn. Give me a critical or something, maybe? No? I think I'm done for. No, he's done for. Okay, that's not bad. Sorry about the beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. That, that's probably really annoying. But it's okay. Mm-hmm, you lost. Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs to rest, too. See you, Silver. Peace, bro. Why can't I sit on a pillow? You're, you're the only one who can sit on a pillow. Maybe that's her bed. Ha <laughs> ha! Mom sleeping on pillows. That's how broke we are. That's fucked. Yeah, yeah, we are. Because you were nowhere to be found. Yeah, okay, thanks for the running shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to use running shoes, woman. So, yeah. Think we go to the lake. We see Cyrus. And then we go all the way over to Professor Rowan. Yep. I heard. Yep. Somebody said. Yep. I guessed it. Oh, what? What are we doing? No, I want to go back home. Yeah, it is that way. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing. Man, you ain't even got a Pokeball to capture them, do you? What's going on? Um, I mean, obviously, the flowing time, the expanding space, it will make all mine one day. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Move! Damn, he done pushed gold out of the way. What was that about, weird guy? 
Okay, so we we'll let you catch that legendary Pokemon. Oh crap! I heard it, but it's gone. Let's go. So you brought me all the way over here, and you didn't even have Pokeballs, bro. Man, you ain't got the balls to do shit. Alright, so let's form that bond with Chimchar, because I have the strong feeling he's going to be on our team for a long time. And I don't think I'm going to let him fail. Mm. Yeah, so I'm pretty much playing the game normally. It's just... If they faint, faint, like, they're dead. They're, they're nothing to me anymore. Which sucks to say. Maybe hold a funeral for them. I don't know. But pretty much they're dead if we, if they faint and we go on to the next Pokemon, I guess. I'm not sure how it works when you capture six, when you've already captured six Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure with most of the Pokemon, I don't use them. So it's like, I might lose a lot. Which sucks, but it's okay. So we are going to get here. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Blah! Why you keep running into me, jerk? Man, if he's not scary, why are you running? Why are you running? Do you know the way? You do not know the way. Okay. Well, well, look who's here. Silver, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm. Entrusting you with that Chimchar was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I would. I'm going to nickname it just like I did my last one. Bam. Blaze. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Oh, yeah. Trust me. I'm happy with it. I want you to do something for me. Allow, to, allow me to properly introduce myself. You already did at the beginning of the game, my dude. Yep, Sinnoh region, blah, 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 Pokedex, blah, blah, blah. Give it to me. Yes. Bam, we got a Pokedex. Oh, laddie da, you gave her one too. I bet you gave gold one too. Okay. No, if I would have chosen Turtwig, 
you would probably end up with Empoleon, so blah blah blah. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, we will continue again with episode 2 of the Pokemon Nuzlocke and have some more fun with this game. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what game you think I should play next, um, what you think I should uh, imply for the rules and all this and that, and don't forget to check out the links below. There will be my other videos for Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, which is almost finished, and also Pokemon Sweet version, which we are um, we're pretty far into it. I think we're on episode 11 or something like that, maybe 12. But yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe and check those out. Links will be down in the description below and for the rules for the Nuzlocke as well. So have a great day, guys. Bye.